The color grading panel contains all the tools you need to make the colors in your video look great. To open the color grading panel, first click the event in your timeline that holds the video clip that you want to work on. This both selects the event and shows the frame you clicked on in the video preview window. Now click the color grading button in the timeline toolbar. The color grading panel contains several tools for grading and correction that appear on different tabs. You see the color wheels tab in the default view. Color wheels enable you to affect different parts of the image. Adjust the lift wheel to affect the shadows and darker parts of the image. The gamma wheel affects the midtones, and the gain controls affect the highlights and brighter parts of the image. The offset wheel affects the entire image. For example, to add blue to the entire image, drag the offset wheel's control point towards blue. To return the offset settings to their default values, click the reset button. Color curves enable you to fine tune your image and independently adjust red, green, and blue channels. To use the color curves, click the color curves tab. The default curve affects each of the three color channels, red, green, and blue. When you adjust this curve, you essentially affect the brightness of your image. The curve has two endpoints. To change the shape of the curve, drag the yellow curve handle point to a new location. Note how it affects your video in the video preview window. You can also drag the endpoints up and down to see how that affects your video. Double click the curve line to add a new point and then adjust that point and its curve to make further adjustments. You can also adjust each of the color channels independently. Click the Select Curves drop down list and choose blue from the list. Now you see both the RGB curve and the blue curve, and you can adjust them separately. Once you're done experimenting, click the reset button if you want to get back to the original image. To quickly apply a finishing look to your image, use a looklet. Click the looklet tab to see those controls. LUTs, or lookup tables, allow you to apply a preset color treatment to your image. To apply one of the many built-in LUTs, click the LUT drop-down list and choose the LUT you want from the list. If you have a custom LUT that you want to use, click the Browse for LUT button. Browse to the location on your computer's hard drive where you store any of the LUTs that you have downloaded from other sources. If you want to revert to no LUT, click the Reset button. You can experiment with the many other tools in the color grading panel. To access any controls, click the tab that holds those controls. Sometimes as you're working in the color grading panel, you want to see what your footage looked like before you applied your color changes. To do this, click the Bypass Color Grading button. Don't forget to turn this toggle button off again so you can see your changes. If you've made many changes to various tools in the panel and you now want to remove all of the changes and start over again, click the Reset All button. When you're done with your changes, click the color grading button to close the panel.